The third Might Attend Test match is underway here at the football stadium and a crunch of players and Calder has the ball early on for the Lions. Australia has worked hard on those kickoffs, but the Lions have come away. The referee says it was out and the Australians drive in low. The early psychological battle goes against the Lions. The referee has penalised. James is going to run it back and hoist. His kick is not a very good one, though. Coming down near the 10-metre line. Lost ahead by Richards, and there's also offside play, says the referee. And Liner with a chance to post first points. He kicked three out of six last week, but was quite happy with his kicking because he struck the ball well, including one that hit the post. Two minutes gone on the clock. Michael Liner for Australia. <laughs> Missing on the left. Well, I think that couple of metres show gives them the momentum. Australian scrum is ruled the 90. Richards comes away. That's a tight head. Psychological blow there for the Lions pack, and they're very hungry. Jones sniping himself. 15 metres out. This is Ackford. Richards there. So too is Calder. Australia under heavy pressure here. Rob Andrew. Australia short on numbers. Evans. And the referee has awarded the penalty right in front of the goalposts. But they gained a tight head, a crucial one, and Hastings has added the three pointer. So it's the British Lions first on the scoreboard. Nine minutes of play gone first half. see that Scott Haking, Hastings jinking in the back line. Obviously the plan is to come back and link with the forwards. Young penalised at the game. He must go well, on. across off the loose head side. Kyle Jones plays on quickly. The Lions were all inside the 10. And the referee gives another penalty to Australia. This one on halfway. Ryan has got the distance. And he's got the accuracy too. Majestic kick from Lyman. And the Lions are full of running at the moment. Sold. Straight through the centre of the line out. Tries to stay on his feet. Ball laid back well. And the Australia clearly offside. Players cringing, coming right offside. And this will be a penalty shot for Hastings only five metres in. Well, what an amazing part of play there. You see the ball was deflected twice in that lineup, but the Lions were able to get out into depth and drive through the middle, get over that advantage line, thus giving the momentum behind it. Here we are here in the first half. Gavin Hastings. It's a big, lovely kick. Straight through the centre. Setback here could create some problems. Just before half-time, the time to pull it out. He's here. Now it's Liner. Liner through. Williams outside. Can he get there? He sure can. Great try. Michael Liner. Flags are up. And the test match is all square. We're going to see the restart from Andrew. The siren has gone for half time. Australia and the Lions, 9-all. Michael Liner from inside, he's 22. And now the referee, Rene Urte, blows his whistle for the break. So the second half of the Mitre 10 third international between Australia and the British Lions and Hastings, who had such a strong first half, again proving a colossus at the back for his side, back up to halfway. Time in at the back to Far Jones, Liner and Walker. Back to Liner, the loop, his danger. Martin, well caught around the ankles. Player diving in at the breakdown. That has to be a penalty. Mike Teague making no attempt to stay on his feet.
Michael Liner makes no mistake. The crowd is happy. Can the Lions hit back here? Australia trying to wheel it round past the 90. Jones, Andrew looking for the equaliser. Goulet almost charging down, but he put the pressure on. That was important. And now Campisi and Evans. Oh, this is terrible stuff. It's a try. Well, what a mortal blow for the Australians. The less said about that, the better. And this is the classic shocker. David Campisi had to dot that ball down. He was out on his own. He started the run. Greg Martin went in support without really wanting the ball. Lost it ahead and uh, the uh, unthinkable has happened. Look at this. You don't do this on your own line. You don't wear a green and gold jersey to pull out that sort of Mickey Mouse rugby. The crowd really stunned here by that horrible blunder. And Hastings, can he hammer in the nail? No. Cutler to Hart Hill. Australians getting some good line out ball. Lost ahead by Maguire. They're putting themselves under pressure. Here goes Dooley. The Lions pack on a roll here. Young supports. 24 metres out. Andrew. And it's Evans. And the mark goes to Martin, but the referee has spotted some offside play by the Australians. And Gavin Hastings comes up for what could prove to be another mortal blow for the Australian. This to send the Lions out to a four-point lead. And there's no mistake with that one. Bisecting the uprights. All the kicks have been long ones. They must look to get it back. They go for the short one. Campbell goes high. So does Cutler. But the Lions set it up well. Evans coming through now on Martin. Martin stands his ground. Calder, the tackler, assisted by Evans. And again, that high ball from Robert Jones proving successful. The referee has spotted another infringement on the ground by the Australians. Gavin Hastings kicked six penalty goals in his test debut against France in 1986 to equal the world record. Will this be number five? He's been striking them beautifully, and he's done it again. I don't think they can do it. The Lions are pressuring them at every opportunity. Oh, bad pass from Liner to Maguire, put Far Jones under pressure, and the composure's just not there at the moment. And the referee this time has spotted a Lions player infringing. So there's ten and a half minutes to go, and this is a vital one for Liner because if successful, Australia then is within a converted try of winning. And the pressure of the whole world on Liner with this one. Crowd's happy. Four points the difference. Australia with the full complement in the line out. Tideman got it. This is Liner running hard and straight. Australian forward support well. Orkay nearly bowled over. Where's the ball? Here it is. Lions player offside. Brian Moore offside. Australia storming home in this game. Telling David Soule that he should think about going off if he's not 100%, but Soule says, no, I'm going to stay on. Well, what a gripping finish. Six and a half minutes to go. If Liner gets this, there'll be one point between the two teams. The ones who will follow it must chase hard. Liner struck it well. One point the difference, 19-18. What a comeback by this Australian team. Well, they're really very hungry, the Australian pack. They seem to push Dooley backwards. And the referee has spotted a hand in the ruck. That may well be the backbreaker. With two minutes to go, Hastings is going to have a shot for goal. This could win it for the Lions. He hasn't got the distance. There's 50 seconds remaining, and it's Campisi. He's running. Good line for the Australians. They've really got to have a go here. Martin lost ahead. 40 seconds remaining. Time is up on the clock. Jones kicks long and high. Campisi underneath. Evans there. 
Now it's Martin again. Desperately trying to keep it alive. The pass is okay to Williams. Here they go again. Line is there. And it could be Willard trying to Underwood. He's held up. Amazing scenes here in the closing stages. That's it. The Lions have won the series by 19 points to 18. Unbridled joy for them. And these players have really done it for the Northern Hemisphere this afternoon. Finlay Calder now leading his players around the field. It's a victory lap of honour. Almost a solo one until his players respond. And this really is a moment to savour for these 15 players.